Hey everybody, welcome back to Sophisti Cakes. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. All are welcome here. So for this cake, it might be one of the last summer themed cakes fall is upon us. So I gave a go at this Mediterranean inspired lemon cake. So stay tuned and I will get you all the details and tell you exactly how I did this cake after the intro. So for this tutorial, I actually used a foam cake dummy. This can be done with real cake as well. You would do the exact same techniques just on real layered cake. And to prepare this cake dummy for the fondant, I just use some regular shortening and I just smear it all over the cake. On an actual cake, you could use shortening, but you could also use simple syrup or just spray it with water on top of your buttercream of choice to get the fondant to stick. And I'm just softened my, butt, my uh, fondant there just by using the heat of my hands to make it more elastic. Knead it like you would bread dough. And I'm rolling it out on my surface using some cornstarch to keep it from sticking. And I use a very sharp needle to pop any bubbles and I use my smoothing fondant smoother to smooth out after I pop the bubble. And move it around every once in a while to make sure that it's not sticking to your surface. And you wanna make sure that you roll it out large enough to cover your cake. Now to figure out how much fondant you need for, um, nude? Fondant you need for your cake, measure the top across from side to side, and then measure the height of your cake. Multiply the height by two, and add the distance across the top of your cake. And that will tell you how far, how wide your fondant piece needs to be rolled out. That'll get you your surface area. Now I stuck it to the top and then immediately tried to work out any air bubbles and then rub it around the, the corner, the, uh, the top corner edge of your cake because these cake dummies are very sharp on those top edges and you don't want it to rip. And do the same on a regular cake also. Just make sure that you get the top adhered first and then go directly onto around that, that top edge and then work your way down unfold those pleats as you work your way around to smooth it and then use your cut off the excess and use your fondant smoother to rub out as many of the air bubbles as you can and to smooth it out as best as you can and use a sharp knife to cut off that excess you can also use a pizza cutter if you prefer I just kind of use what's handy and then I use some rolled up fondant stuck onto my hand covered in some cornstarch to rub out more of those imperfections and then to get that sharp corner I'm using some flexi smoothers smoothers and um, I'm just kind of banging them together to create a sharp corner and sometimes I do alternate with a fondant smoother it's a little easier to hold on to but I like to start off with the flexi smoothers now I need to figure out how much fondant I need to roll out to get my strips so I am just measuring the distance around, marking down how long that is, and then measuring from the middle all the way down to the bottom so that I have an idea of how much fondant I need. Now I just rolled these out and cut the strips. I did have footage of that, but somewhere that is lost in the stratosphere, I don't know, but I just rolled it out and I cut it in strips using strip cutters fondant strip cutters. You just mark, make those the width that you want and then you just roll it across the surface. Now to get these lined up I like to do go straight across the middle, take that half, half of that, go across the middle again, go across the other side in the middle and that way you're making your section smaller and you're making sure that they're evening them out, you're making equal distances. And once I got all those on there, I wanted to cut off that excess on the top. So I just used a cookie cutter and marked, pushed it down and then took the excess out. And then I just filled in with a disc of the same fondant. Just, I think it gives it a cleaner look. Now to edge out and add a little bit more yellow to this cake, I went ahead and rolled out a strip of yellow fondant and I used, there you can see I used my fondant strip cutter and just rolled out a good st a strip of the fondant. And then to get it rolled up 
and a little bit easier trick to get this attached to your cake, how to get it transferred to your cake is put some cornstarch on it, roll it up in a cylinder like that, and then set it aside for a few minutes to let it set up. And while I did that, I went ahead and I measured the height of that strip and marked it on the bottom of the cake. And I used that first piece as a guide for all of them, all of the strips on how much to cut off. I just went around the entire thing with that piece and marked it and then just removed those extra pieces. Now you can add a little bit of water or you can use some more shortening to get your strip to stick to it. Now, don't be afraid of adding a little shortening onto your cake. You're not adding a half an inch thick layer of shortening. You're just using a little bit as a glue. I do prefer the shortening because if you use water and you stick something onto your fondant, good luck getting it off without messing up the surface of your cake. This way, it, you can move it where you want it and over time, it does stick. Something happens that makes the fondant stick to itself. Now I'm making my lemon swag to put on top, lemon decoration on top. Now you could go ahead and make fondant lemons if you prefer. I debated on doing that, but for time constraints, because I do this on my time off from the bakery, I went ahead and I purchased the artificial lemons and I'm cutting them off so that I can put them where I want. And I'm using some floral tape. You stretch it to get it activated and start with wrapping some around your longest part, the part that's going to be at the beginning of your swag, just to get it started and then add your lemons and your leaves as you go. Roll it down a little bit, give yourself some room to uh, place the next piece because you don't want to do them right on top of each other because then you're just adding, you're just making a bouquet, a big bouquet. If you want it to be elongated, roll your tape down a little bit, give yourself a couple inches, Put your next one, roll it down a little bit, put your next one, and then that way you have some room to navigate. See how they're not right on top of each other? They're kind of staggered. And I made two bunches of this because sometimes I notice, sometimes if you have too much all in one, it can be kind of hard to place it. Kind of hard to put it where you want it. You have a little more flexibility this way. Trying not to stick myself to the lemons. <laughs> and I wrapped it all the way to the bottom of that. Because if you are sticking this into a, an actual cake, you're going to either want to put a straw in the cake or wrap the stem with the floral tape. That will make it food safe. It all depends on your comfort level. Different people have differing views on that. I feel like if your flowers are wrapped in floral tape, especially artificial, you're fine. Now, if you're worried about the juices coming out of the stems of fresh flowers, even with the floral tape, go ahead and put a straw in first and then insert your, your stems into the straw. Now, I just played around with this for a very long time, trying to get these exactly where I wanted. They were wanting to stick up from the cake a little too high, but I did figure out how to, how to tackle that, and I'll show you that in a minute. I think the main thing with this is Get it in the cake and then, you know, have an idea of what you want it to look like. Get it in the cake and then you can move things around. And I'm using my dedicated cake tools, my pliers, to stick them in since the foam is a little harder to stick things into. And these stems are very flexible, so you can manipulate it around. And I wanted it to hang down a little further. So here you can see I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want it to, to lay. And this is my trick. I'm basically making a hairpin out of floral wire, a thicker gauge floral wire. Bend it in half. Don't close it all the way. Leave an opening so that your stems can have somewhere to be. And you can just figure out where you want them to be and use that as a hairpin. Pin it into place. I mean, you could use royal icing, you can use buttercream, you can use melted chocolate, but sometimes that's not strong enough, especially when you're dealing with wires. They want to spring back. So I have found that this works really well for that. Just make sure that you tell your customer that there are some floral wire in the cake. Communication is key.
and then fluff it where you want it again. And I did want to add a little, I thought about adding a little bit extra greenery. We'll see here in a second if I actually did. I can't remember. I edit it and then I add my voiceover at the end. So sometimes I surprise myself. If you catch me floundering on my words a little bit because, oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> or I just did something and then no, that's not what I did. So anyway, there is the Mediterranean inspired lemon cake. So uh, the following videos will be more probably fall themed, but we'll see what we come up with. So if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share, do all the things. And that way I know what you guys like. So we'll catch you next time. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.